For network consulting in Los Angeles, call 213-261-3998. Hi, everyone. My name is Brent Whitfield from Dependable Computer Guys in Los Angeles, California. I'm going to do a short tutorial today on how to fix time drift problems with Windows PCs. More and more these days, precise timekeeping is critical. It's what Outlook needs. It's what most customer resource management programs need. And all file sync utilities need to keep things in order. And with some PCs, we found that there's like time drift, where throughout the day or over a couple of days, the PC may lose time or gain time, uh, just kind of intermittently and sporadically. This usually relates back to a battery or a BIOS or a motherboard problem, but it's very easy to let Windows resync the time more frequently to overcome this problem without having to bother with going to the repair center. We're going to learn how to use RegEdit today to change the frequency with which Windows goes out and checks for the proper time. The advantage to this method is that Windows can go out to a time server and reset the time more frequently and avoid a trip to the repair shop or sending your computer in. I'm going to jump out of my PowerPoint display and get into Windows and launch a program called RegEdit. It's spelled R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Type that in this, the Windows Start menu and hit Enter. And once you're in the registry enter, uh, the registry editor, you're going to hit Control F for Find. And I'm going to put this in the show notes so that you don't have to remember it. But the word that we're going to paste in there is called Special Poll Interval. And this key is what controls the amount of time that Windows takes to check for the proper time. So typing that in is called Special Poll interval. And you do that with no spaces. While that's looking for the that registry key, I, I wanted to let you know that it can take between 30 seconds and 5 minutes depending on how big your registry is. It found mine right away because I had already looked this up so it was already in the cache. But just know that it takes a while. And the other caveat I wanted to express to you is that incorrectly made registry entries can cause windows to completely fail so be careful make a backup and move forward with caution anyway once windows finds the special poll interval key double click on it and it'll bring it up and you wanna very importantly you wanna get out of this hexadecimal display and change it to decimal at the moment, you can see that it's set for 604,800 seconds, which corresponds with about seven days. And we're going to change that to one of these three values. 86,400 for 24 hours. If you want to go eight hours, you, you set it to 28,800. And if you want to go to four hours, set it for 1,400. Or sorry, 14,400. Uh, I wouldn't go less than every four hours. If your uh, system is that bad on time, you probably ought to get it repaired. If you, if you check the time servers more than every four hours, they may ban you. So it's better to probably stick with eight or 24 hour periods. I'm going to set mine to 24 hours. So that's 86,400 seconds. Jump back in here to regedit. Highlight that, type 86,400 seconds. Save it. And now I'm set for once a day. The great thing about this is that it's going to adjust the time for you even if your PC is drifting a little bit. I want to uh, say one uh, caveat about firewalls. Most firewalls allow Windows to check time servers at will, but if you find that you're getting errors when it goes out to check the time server in your system tray, you just need to um, contact your firewall vendor or look up how to open up the time servers. Basically, you need to open up UDP port 123, and that will allow Windows out of your firewall in order to update the system clock. 
I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you have any need for IT support in the greater Los Angeles area, Pasadena, or the Valley, call area code 213-261-3998. For network consulting in Los Angeles, call 213-261-3998.